Welcome back to America's Got Talent, live from Hollywood. Now, this next contestant uses Rubik's Cubes in his act, and you will not believe what he could do with him. He is Steven Brundage. I've kind of always been obsessed with solving puzzles, figuring things out. For me, solving problems is like navigating a maze in my mind. When I was a little kid, I had this little fire truck that I would take apart and put back together, and I would do that over and over again. As I got older, I started to look for puzzles and problems that were more complex and more intricate and harder to solve. I started to do crossword puzzles, Sudoku, anything that would really engage my mind. And then I found the Rubik's Cube. It was shiny and colorful and complex, and the hardest thing I've ever seen. There are more ways you can mix up a Rubik's Cube than atoms in the known universe. It was the ultimate puzzle for me. What I'm doing tonight is something that I've never done before. Every single time I've done my Rubik's Cube trick, it's always been one or two cubes. This time I'm using over 200. The biggest trick that's ever been attempted with Rubik's Cubes. When I started this competition, there was hundreds of thousands of people, and now it's down to just 22. The more I move forward in the competition, the more and more I want it. I'm just one right move away from making my dreams come true. Thank you. As a small child, I could have never imagined that this tiny cube of colors would lead me to the biggest stage on earth and the greatest honor of my life, the semifinals of America's Got Talent. Tonight, we're gonna attempt something bigger than I've ever done before. We have a giant tower of Rubik's Cubes right here. We have over 204 Rubik's Cubes stacked up. To give you an idea how many mix-up that is, there's actually more ways to mix up this tower than atoms in the known universe. I want you to watch close. But instead of doing something giant tonight, before we do that, I thought I'd begin where everything all started, me and a single Rubik's Cube. So I'm gonna do down by the judges, Simon. Can you actually help me out? Yes, no Perfect. fire. Here's my question, Simon. No Is that cube still mixed up on those sides? Right? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Watch that close. We're going to mix it up just a little bit from completely mixed up, completely How do solved. You do that? Incredible. Now that's two handed mixing the cubes. Oh. This time we're going to step it up just a bit. We have this cube. You can look at that. We're going to do it one handed, but twice as hard. One handed, but behind the back, Howie, you're going to catch it. Both hands out, Howie. Here's my question, Howie. Is that cube still mixed up? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Watch. One-handed. You better catch it, though. Watch. One-handed. Behind the back when Howie catches it. Shut up! Completely oh, solved. No. Look at that. Oh, oh, my God. How do you do? That's amazing. Simon and Howie, hold on to these cubes. Melby and Heidi, I have two cubes for you. Don't mix them up yet. Okay. Right now, I need the help of Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, join me on stage, please. How did you do that? Nick, right here we have a deck of celebrity cards. I want you to look close. We have Tom Hanks right here. Okay. We have Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg? Justin Bieber, et cetera, Emma Stone, Beyonce. You would actually go through, you could see all the cards are completely different in there. Yes. Nick, I want you to use your intuition. Whenever you get a feeling, okay. I want you to stop on any card that you want. So we're going to deal them down in a pile here. Say the word stop whenever you want. Okay. Uh, Stop. As many as you want. Perfect. Stop. Take that card. Don't look at it yet. Very important. If you stopped on the card earlier, we would have got Lady Gaga. Nice. Right? One card later, we also get The Rock. I like him a lot. Smell and very, cooking. very important, you can actually see through all the cards are completely different in the deck. Yes. Nick, hold your card close to your heart. Don't look at it yet. Judges, start mixing your cubes. <laughs> now, Nick, you're going to tell each judge to stop in any order that you want. And okay. judges, put your cubes down. But wait. If I took your cubes back with my hands, you would accuse me of cube sleight of hand. So I have an anti-cube sleight of hand device right over here. <laughs> so Nick, get started. Uh, okay, uh, Mel. Yes. Stop. Stop, perfect, Mel, I'll take it back. Thank you. Next one, Nick. Uh, Simon. Simon, Stop. thank you so much, Simon. Thank you. Heidi. Stop. Heidi, you can place it down. Perfect, last but not least, anytime you want. Howie. Stop it. Okay. Right there, perfect. <laughs> All four cubes mixed up by the judges. My hands have not touched them. Nick, join me back by the Tower of Cubes for me. Okay. Perfect. Nick, we have four holes. We have one, two, three, and four. We're going to choose a cube, choose a hole. One, two, three, or four. This one. Number yeah. two right over there. Yes. We're going to place it right in. We have one, three, and four. Your choice, Nick. Any one you want. The bottom one. The bottom. Which one's the bottom one? There's two. Perfect. Two left. There's one and four. Which one do you want, Nick? 
Uh, we'll go up top. Up top, right over there. And last but not least, you left the last cube right down towards the corner near you. Yes. Right in there. Nick, you decided everything. You chose which holes. You told the celebrity to stop. You chose which card you wanted. For the first time, Nick, I want you to name your celebrity out loud so everyone could hear you. Brad Pitt. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Brad Pitt. Wow. That's pretty impressive. I have no idea how you did that. Steven Brundage. Heidi. Yes. Looks like me. He's got everyone on their feet. Talk to him. I am just so impressed with you in so many different ways. You know, your enthusiasm, you feel, or you, I feel like you are a really nice guy, but what I love the most is how you come up with so many new and creative ways of doing magic with your Rubik's Cube. I mean, it's insane. Thank you, Well Heidi. done. Thank you. Simon. Stephen, you've made the boring fascinating. I honestly think you are the most improved contestant we've seen on this show so far. Thank you, I Heidi. genuinely do. And all I can say is thank you to the American public for bringing you back, because we hadn't brought you into the finals. And I think, based on that, we're going to see you next week. Congratulations. Thank you, Simon. Wow. Mr. Howie Mandel. I'm just thrilled that Brad Pitt looks like me. That looks more like me than Brad Pitt. <laughs> you look <laughs> like Brad Pitt. I know, and that's what I love about this. <laughs> you do. No, but I love you. I, I think you're amazing. I, that looks more like me than Brad Pitt. But in real life, you look like Brad Pitt. We'll let you guys debate that out. Good luck, great job, Steven. To vote for Steven, get on the phone, get online, or use the AGT app. Phone calls are toll free from landlines. You can vote up to 10 times for each act with each voting method. And you've got until 7 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. Do not let your favorites get sent home because you didn't vote. After the break, the incredible clairvoyance get deep inside the judges' heads. And we've got a young contortionist who is going to blow your mind.